Canada's drinking and driving laws are causing some concerns over privacy issues. Law experts say the legislation is so broad that it gives police the power to test you, not just when you're behind the wheel, but when you're in your own home and demand a breathalyzer test. Under Canada's new drinking and driving laws, cops have the power to test your breath for alcohol without reasonable cause while you're driving. According to this criminal defense lawyer, that could extend to officers demanding you take a breathalyzer while you sat in a bar, restaurant, and yes, even in your own home within two hours of driving. That opens up Pandora's box. If those kind of broad police powers seem impossible in Canada, advocates say there's a reason for that. They're simply not true. Typically what happens in those type of situations is the person's, you know, been in a car crash, the police have suspected they've been drinking, and they leave the scene. Andrew Murray is the leader of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, but he's not a lawyer. And law experts fear Canada's new drunk driving laws give police too much power. You get a, a, a vindictive individual who's mad at somebody who calls the police. Ed O'Neill believes it could lead down a slippery slope. Already in Ontario, local media reports of police demanding a breath sample from a senior returning too many empties at a beer store. O'Neill believes there will be future charter challenges. And if you refuse to take the test, you could be arrested, charged with a criminal offense, or face a $2,000 fine. Anti-drunk driving advocates believe losing some liberties is worth the price. We actually expect to save over 200 lives in the first year it's implemented. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.